My name is Danny Ladoni, and I'm the director of Duck, a Documentary. One of the things that really inspired me to make the film was my own experiences growing up in Colorado. And among them, of course, was raising my own pet duck. And I think that most of all, the story with James and Thomas and their pet duck, Lucky, inspired me to think about how people can use ducks in their daily lives as, as a pet. Uh, many people who have seen the film have said, oh, I'd like a pet duck. Well, the truth is this director had his own pet duck as a kid. My pet duck was named Quackers, and Quackers was a duck that we got when we had a group of chickens that we would get every year or two when we had a chicken coop. And in addition to all the chickens that of course would lay eggs for us, we decided to get a duck as a pet, as just something fun. And so Quackers grew up with the other chicks for the uh, duration of time he was in the house, and then he eventually moved out when he was a little bit older with the chicks to our chicken coop. And so for all intents and purposes, I think that duck thought he was a chicken. You know, uh, much like the ugly duckling who was actually a swan, um, this was a duckling that perhaps was going to be a chicken. And so Quackers was a lot of fun to hang out with. I, I think a duck is a novelty pet for anyone. And baby ducks obviously have that, uh, that fluff before their feathers come in that make them especially um, indelible. And so it was a lot of fun to raise this little pet duck. Unfortunately, we have dogs on our property. And one of our dogs named Copper was uh, a very aggressive dog. He loved chasing cats and other animals. And unfortunately, a lot of what he caught, he would uh, wrestle down and sometimes injure or kill, as was the case with Quackers because my foster brother and I would take turns doing all of the chores around the house and among them was going in, feeding the chickens in the chicken coop and on a particularly windy day, the door to the chicken coop swung open and the, all of the chicks and the duckling quackers escaped and very quickly they were all um, gobbled up or simply um, maimed by our dog Copper, and so unlike Lucky or Perky in the film, Quackers the duck was not especially lucky and did not live to adulthood, so the challenges of having a pet duck cannot be understated, and certainly when they are ducklings they are susceptible to all sorts of predators, even household ones like cats or dogs. So I would say that upon reflection, it would have been nice to have seen Quackers grow up to be a grown duck. I'm not sure if he would have ever, she would have ever laid eggs, but, um, you know, ducks, chickens, and, and other animals like that seem to live hand in hand on a farm, or indeed in one's backyard. And so I suppose Quackers is a cautionary tale to anyone who is considering getting a pet duck that indeed it does take some effort, and as Lucky the Duck nearly died several times due to their dog Max, that German Shepherd, um, it could be said that, you know, a, a duck like Quackers did not make it because we have dogs, or my cat, Damon. Damon, come here. You want to be in the movie? I'm making a movie now in the backyard here about Quackers. You never met Quackers because Quackers he was uh, dead and gone long before you came around. So animals like this, my cat Damon, are not good for um, raising ducks like quackers. Damon, do you want to wave goodbye? Damon, wave goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for watching our movie.